Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Wednesday the 18th of January. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only, that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, so let us get straight into it and what has happened overnight. Now first of all, let me give you the figures. CPI for the sterling in the UK came in at 1.6, the RPI input at 1.8 to the forecast of 2.2 and also the year to year at 2.5. Now the biggest thing that happened overnight and if anybody has seen any uh, pound chart is Prime Minister's May speech. Now I did pre-warn everybody on Monday and in yesterday's call of the day that this would be impacting to the market. So who would have thought that this speech would have triggered the strongest one day rally in the sterling versus the US dollar since 2008. So it's the strongest one day in nine years. Uh, essentially what came out of that speech is that uh, Britain is not seeking a partial membership. Okay, So it's not half in or half out, they just want full out. Okay, number two, um, May will not be proposing membership of the EU single market, so they don't want to participate there either. Uh, three, the government will put final deal, the final deal to vote in Parliament. And number four, and possibly this was what gave so much uh, strength to the pound last night, is that May will seek to avoid a disruptive Brexit cliff edge type of scenario, so they will aim for a phased transition. This was obviously well treated in the markets as uh, the, the British pound had its strongest day in a very, very long time. So let me just highlight that to you. This is a, the GBP a USD in a four hour chart and as you can see, that gap that was created earlier in the week uh, that we had spoken about, which is this area over here, very, very quickly got filled as the speech started we can see that the market basically just closed it all up and uh, produced a, a very very solid day. Alright, so what else happened overnight in Europe? The the, cent, the German sentiment number came in under the forecast. Now while the, the, the expectations component of the survey fell short of the forecast, it was still firmly higher than the previous month and investors are feeling more upbeat about the euro at the moment and the euro also had a strong day yesterday. So we've just broken a, a, a new level and it really opens up that door as we did speak about on Monday uh, that uh, we could be pushing towards that 108, 110 region. Uh, we'll just see a little bit more as the weeks uh, come by. Okay, so it is time for the chart of the day and today I have found us, uh, it was a tough going this morning, but I did find us a four hour GBP New Zealand uh, chart and as you can clearly see from my markings on the chart, we are in downtrend on a four hour chart and basically we've had a, a nice pullback, so if we think of trend as going like this, now it gives us an opportunity to perhaps do something in this vicinity. Let me zoom in a little bit more and let's take a closer look. And as you can see from uh, this uh, picture here, we have produced a nice inside candle. Now this trade at the time of this, uh, me finding it, it has triggered only slightly, so you almost getting in at the identical at the correct level price. So essentially we are sellers in the market in this direction. Our stop is placed around about there somewhere and see how you go. So if you want to participate, this is a trigger trade already, by all means go ahead and do so. So that is our chart of the day, the GBP New Zealand dollar four hour inside candle in a downtrend. Okay, so up and coming news events, what's happening, it is a filled session this one, so I will mark out the highlights and we'll start off with tonight 8.30 GBP. Now the GBP has already had its massive movement, so uh, this data, this is the unemployment um, 
numbers and the change so it will be impacting okay 8 30 tonight Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time later just after midnight we have in the US the CPI numbers okay the you the US dollar has been taking a little bit of a hit so it comes into play this evening two o'clock any Canadian uh, dollar traders this is the big one we have the monetary policy report and the the overnight rate nobody's expecting a change uh, but perhaps uh, 45 minutes later when they do their press conference and any indications that they may release will be impacting for the Canadian dollar finally at seven o'clock in the morning our time Miss Yellen will speak and this is going to be important uh, pretty much to see how they feel about the what's been said and done and also the US dollar has been taking a bit of a hit uh, in th this week particularly so let's see if this could be uh, anything that she says either to reinforce that or to give us some kind of a pullback all right guys as always please feel free to contact us if you have any questions follow me on Twitter at chat effects trade setups and breaking news most importantly have a great trading day and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily call bye for now